Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are gonna go shopping at Dollar Tree. I have found some incredible finds that perform as good as luxury. We're also going to talk about what didn't work that you should avoid. So come shopping with me at Dollar Tree. Maybe get some Christmas decorations too. Okay. Success. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are gonna be talking about the very best items makeup wise that you can purchase from Dollar Tree. Every single item was $1.25. We have some clear hits that are challenging my views on life and what I've been doing with my money at Sephora and Neiman Marcus. Like there are items that literally are sending shockwaves through my system. I kid you not, I found solid gold. I also found some opposite of solid gold and we're gonna discuss it all. I went bananas, I bought a ton of stuff. I immediately started swatching, trying, testing. As you'll see in the inserts, everything initially was in its package. I opened it up right away. The things I have in front of me are already out of the package and I have been investigating. So let's hop on in. We're gonna try and do this in sequence. Spoiler, most of what you see on my face is Dollar Tree. I feel like it looks so much more expensive than $1.25. Now I wanted to go in and do this with a very like serious attitude and put together a sophisticated look. I want this video to be helpful. I know that my channel started out teaching you guys how to get makeup for free at the drugstore, throwback to Madness Monday. And that is because I myself started out when I was 18, uh, no family helping me out really. I kind of had to manage on my own and my whole life was dollar store shopping, whether it was food, home decor even, cleaners and makeup, shampoo, like everything was from uh, the 99, which is in LA. And I just believe you can get things done on a budget. This was probably a way too long intro, but let's dive in. This gem right here, toss it in your freezer. I have a bunch of these. Literally, I don't know if like my family's over, sisters are here, someone's visiting. If you're puffy at all, I have the trick for you. And it is simply one of these guys in the freezer. I have one that I bought at Target, a couple off of Amazon, some bigger, some smaller. I was surprised to see something like this at Dollar Tree. So for a $1.25, you too can jump on in to the de-puffing, quick little, just get everything looking more rested trick. And I, this works really well, it's really nice. Also, absolutely so excited to see this at Dollar Tree, the eyeshadow switching sponge. Oh my gosh, I bought a backup and I'm happy I did. It works great. This is so nice if you want to switch up the use of whatever makeup brush you have on hand. This allows you to not have that moment where you have gone in a deep espresso brown with a crease brush and you go into a lighter shade and then, I mean, We've all been there, right? Uh, if you have one of these on your vanity, it becomes easy habit to just kind of swirl the brush in here and it removes the pigment. It's amazing, I love it. I'm so confused by this item. Wait a second, the ingredients are on the back. How bad are they? How bad are you? Pretty typical ingredients for a primer. This does have carmine in it, which makes it not a vegan product. Let me shout that out if you wanted to know. Now you do. This is the Be Pure, essentially ageless, blur face primer. And when I tell you a little goes a long way, a little teeny itty bitty bit goes a long way. This is like industrial grade blur your face primer. If you go a little too bananas with it, it is gonna be chalky and it will pill and it won't blend in and you'll be like, what the heck is this? But if you use just a very modest amount and you press this in, oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm gonna say this because like, gosh, um, okay. It is giving Tarte Smoothing Primer vibes it is giving this one some competition how i don't know but i'm gonna keep using it because i feel like my pores not only velvetized but like filled in and i was looking in the mirror and i'm like am i 
hallucinating because this is working so well. Go get this. It is really, really good. Just do not overdo it because it does have that white cast kind of powdery look if you use too much. Less is more. Okay, I was most excited about that one. I then went in today with some Essentially Ageless. It's a really interesting name for a makeup line, like essentially, like you're kind of beautiful is also a name. Um, basically younger. Um, what else could we call it? I don't know. The essentially part just like cracks me up a little bit younger, essentially ageless. Maybe this is the hydrating serum concealer. It has a very thin texture. If you use too much, it can tend to feel a little bit waxy, but I did apply this with buffing motion with a brush and it definitely lightened up my under eye circles and went on pretty nice. So if you need to get it done for $1.25, this is not terrible. It's actually pretty good. So this actually did hit my mark of approval. Was it my favorite of the bunch? No, but it was pretty good. The foundation. Ugh, not much to say. The foundation was, ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, also, the LA Colors Too Cheeky Matte Bronzer. Ooh. We're just gonna, we're just gonna keep it moving. Um, those were absolute da 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 duds. Um, terrible, actually. Beauty Puff sponges. They will allow you. Well, see, that's putting on way too much. Oh gosh, these are terrible. Just don't even do it. Just don't, just say no. Order Velour Puffs from Amazon. Trust me, way better. I'll link it below. Okay, so uh, that's a pass, that's a pass. Let's get back to some good things. We have the Be Pure Essentially Ageless Blurring Pressed Powder with Hyaluronic Acid and Vitamin C. The texture of this is actually quite beautiful. Now, I could not find a lighter shade at my Dollar Tree. This is the medium, I believe. I just ended up using this kind of as an ombre to my bronzer. I do like doing that sometimes. So you could use this in the crease, you could use it to do a little contour. Uh, powder is powder, use it how you will for your skin tone. But this quality, I did not mind. Like the feeling of it was quite nice. Blush. I found two varieties at my Dollar Tree. We have the Be Pure Essentially Ageless Luminizing Blush that really did not seem too luminizing. It's quite matte and bright in my opinion. Now this is very pigmented. It says it's infused with Camilla oil, paraben and phthalate free. I mean, they're really doing it for a $1.25, they are doing those call outs. I love it. This was a little too light for me. It was a little too, uh, just didn't show up enough, but the texture was nice. What I was surprised that I love so much that remind me an awful lot of Benefit blushes. Sorry, Benefit, I love your blushes. So it's really a compliment, but like, hey, let's get it done on a budget. This little blush right here, written in the stars blush, buildable, and blendable from Ioni Cosmetics. I believe that's how you say it. No mirror, no fuss. You don't get a ton of product in here, but hey, the price is right. Very pigmented and blended on beautifully. Now let's go to something that is marketed as a brightening color correcting powder, but actually turned out to be a highlighter. And I was shocked when I swatched this because it does not look like it would be a highlighter at all. It looks like an under eye banana powder situation and it just has so much shine. I was like, how am I gonna use this? And I had a thought to do it as a highlight, but I was worried it was gonna be too icicle and just too silvery and pigmented, but it went on and literally like, I love this. Like, I'm like, yo, what the heck? what they do? How did they do that? This is like hourglass ambient powder from Dollar Tree. Get out of here. This one turned out to be a smash hit surprise for not what it is sold to be. So do not go setting your under eyes with this and do not put it all over the face. You might look like a disco ball. It is a little amped up from say an ambient powder, but it's that smooth baked powder that just gives you this really just like beautiful glow. 
like true candlelit glow. I did use a little bit of this LA Colors Matte Bronzer. I took this in the crease. I love using a matte bronzer to kind of fan out in the crease. Sometimes I don't wear eyeshadow. I just do this trick, kind of take it down the sides of the nose and set any contour that I've done or just to have like a little bit of contour going on and then I'll pop on mascara, call it good. This is really silky and smooth. Make sure you tap off a little bit of the excess. It's a tiny bit powdery, um, but the color is really nice. And I like this compact. It's so thin, like, oh my gosh, is it a credit card? Is it, I don't know, I think it's kind of cute. You could pop this in your pocket, not that you would need to, but I like it. All right, solid gold. Okay, this is something I will be reaching for. I wanna back up. I'm shocked by how well this blended. I like legitimately blown away. Did not think this would blend the way that it does. This actually reminds me an awful lot of the KKW contour stick that I used to buy over and over. I know I got called out for liking it despite it kind of popping out of the actual component back in the day, but I genuinely loved that contour stick. You didn't get a ton of product in it, but for some reason it just blended to perfection. And this, it's reminding me of it and I kind of feel a little bit bad being like, oh, like dollar stores reminding me of, you know, KKW. All I'm saying is it reminds me of something I loved so much, the way that this blends out. I am even mesmerized looking at my hand at this blend. It's phenomenal. I love this, so good. This and the primer, and the blush, they're just, they're really good. And the highlighter is pretty good. Gosh, I found a lot of good stuff. Something I did not like, these lip scrubs, oh my gosh, just make your own. Maybe I need to revamp an old Tip Tuesday of making my own lip scrub. It's so easy to do. This just did not have enough grit in it, quite literally, to get anything done as far as like scrubbing your lips. I still think a silicone scrubber is better with a lot of juiced up emollient balm on the lips. This just, and they smell kind of weird. I don't know, it just wasn't for me. This LA Colors Lip Crayon, really beautiful if you're just gonna put it in the center of the lip. The only thing I have to say is it's quite waxy and so it lifts off a little bit and it just wasn't my favorite thing. I did purchase this Prideful Lip Treatment Mask. I thought this would be maybe similar to Laneige. I like the packaging, I thought it was cute and it turns out to not smell that great. Oh my gosh, it smells like vinegar or something, it, smell, it smells a little sour. Like, I don't know, I just, I can't. Uh, so that was a pass. And then this LA Colors Shimmer Jelly Lip Gloss, anything that says jelly, I'm like, ooh, we must investigate. This was a little too oily and emollient simultaneously where it kind of breaks apart and the color was just very Barbie pink and quite opaque, so not for me. Let's get back to some good. The brows, yo. This surprised me, like what the heck? I'm gonna be doing like a full face of luxury and bust out like this right here. This rinky dink, teeny tiny, like no mirror. Like the pans are so small, but for some reason this powder went on like a dream. Like perfect brow powder. I'm having a great brow day. It was like not hard to do. I, I, I don't know. I really like cheap brow powders. It's my preference. You guys know I like the e.l.f. bite size. This is surprisingly a new top shelf item. I don't care, I like what I like. It's so funny because I'll see comments sometimes online where people are like, oh, you know, beauty gurus, they're notorious for like trying to tell you that they're relatable and they like drugstore makeup, but you know, behind the scenes, they're using the high end stuff. And it's like, dude, I have access to it all. I'm really fortunate now having done this for literally 13 years. I just celebrated 13 years on YouTube and my hands are in all the makeup. And a lot of the times, I prefer the less expensive over the really crazy expensive. And that's something that's been truly eye-opening in reviewing makeup here on YouTube for so many years is just what I actually gravitate toward. Like I want my makeup to look good and I'm not so into the packaging, I'm more into the performance. So if something performs better than high-end and it happens to be $1.25 and in this kind of whatever packaging, if it works, like, that's the goal for me. Okay, so let's continue. The eyeshadow from LA Colors is 
like oh, the colors themselves are like in the caliber of Chanel. It's so surprising how smooth these are. I want to know who's the manufacturer because this shocked me. These two three pan shadows, grab them if you can. Water Lily right here is gorgeous. The metallic burgundy is so nice. And then this cream shade is actually so super smooth. And Tumbleweed is what I'm wearing today. It is everyday elegance, easy to apply. All I did was this number in the middle in the crease. I loaded it up quite a bit and it blended out so nicely. I then took this shade right here all over the lid and a teeny tiny bit of this guy right here just to add an extra layer of brightness and I wanted to wear all three shades. Really fast makeup, love how this blends, love the tone, love the actual consistency of it. Really, really beautiful. Um, some of my favorite finds at Dollar Tree along with this. Now I find if you apply this with a brush, you're gonna have a better time than off of the doe foot applicator. This is the LA Colors Liquid Eyeshadow and this is phenomenal. This lays down so perfectly it is not chunky, bunchy. It is not creasy, cakey, dry. It's just like the smooth, delicious champagne sheen that I am wearing on the eyes that you can put on top of even a powder. You could wear this alone. You could put it in the inner corner. You can put it on top of something. This is great. Now this is the shade Cleopatra. Let's talk liners for a moment. These are so, so. Uh, the Aqua Eyeliner from LA Colors, this is in the shade Foxy. Don't love it, really, really dry. The LA Colors Shimmer Auto Liner in Pearly White, don't really love it, kind of dry. And then the LA Colors Shimmer Auto Liner in Majestic. This is what I'm wearing today. This is the smoothest of the bunch. I like the tone of it. But honestly, if you want a liner that's just a couple of bucks, I would recommend going with Essence Cosmetics or Rimmel. Mascara, no. Hard Pass did not do much. Just gave maybe a breath of lash, like a you're wearing just a hint of something now. And that's about all it did. I tried to layer it up and then I was like, absolutely not. Let's give up and go over to a very well-loved mascara that's $4.99. You can buy this on Amazon. I have it linked in my Amazon storefront. And this is from Essence. This is the Princess Lash. Everybody knows about this. If you are a makeup lover, you know about this. It is a good one. And you can see the side-by-side -side in my try-on portion of this video. Like, I was shocked. I was like, wow, uh, this just like took the lash game up to a whole new level. And I decided to not wear lashes today. I had them set out and I was like, nope, we'll just stop here. We'll just keep it as is. So that's a good recommendation for something that is not $1.25, but is $4.99, so not too much of a jump, performs like high end. And oftentimes at Ulta, you will see a sale. So take advantage of that if you can. And let's talk about these misters right now. They're not bad. We have the LA Colors Face Mist Refresher. This is a hydrating formula and it's coconut scented. You know, I'm not super duper in love, but it's fine. The Matte Finish Setting Spray. Now this is formulated with shea butter and argon oil. This was really nice. Um, I could feel the set happening, like I, I could feel the makeup locking in. It almost feels a little bit sticky, like when you use an Urban Decay All Nighter. So this went on really nice, I do like it. And tonight I will be trying out the Kiss Gel Polish right here. You guys know I've been so into being my own manicurist. I am wearing Mooncat right now in Whiskey Sunrise. This is the second time I've used that particular shade. I really love it. But my obsession with painting my nails is not changing. Like I actually, dare I say, think I'm better at painting than when I go and get my nails done. Like I still like them to shape it and do all the things, but like, and I still like getting a pedicure and going and having the experience. But like I have finally broken through how to paint my nails without getting everywhere. And I'm telling you, the more you repeat something, the better you get at it. So if you're watching this and you're like, I don't know how to do makeup. Yes, you can. Yes, you do. You can do this. Just, it washes off. You try it again. Somewhere along the way, you get better at it. 
And then you kind of keep exploring from there. And that's kind of happening to me with the nail polish thing. So I will be testing this out. This is in the shade. Do you have a shade? Come on. This cannot be the shade DTG and P06. Nail polish always has the funnest shade names. That is a miss but the polish itself is a really beautiful gray blue concrete situation and it's supposed to be gel shine. So I will be trying that out and you can check out my other socials to see how the manicure wound up. And I do have some more lip stuff that I will also be trying on over on IG I have planned. Oh, this was a fail. This was bad. This is like the scent of this, like it's kind of cute. Like you see it in the package and you're like, oh, that's kind of cute. Like maybe a small child would like it, even though I don't have a small child, I bought it. Um, but I just, I thought it was kind of cute and uh, it smells like public restroom hand soap. Ugh, is my description. I can't, I cannot. It is strong, it is potent. It smacks you right in the face. And I don't know that you wanna be putting that on the lips. The packaging is adorable, but uh, pass. So you guys, we found some smash hit discoveries. I hope that you enjoyed this. Not gonna lie, I already have an itch to go back and see what else I can find because I did so well with so many things. Yes, we had some clear fails, but there were some absolute must have winners. And I wanna hear from you guys. Do you have any hidden gems that you have been withholding? What are you gatekeeping? Leave it in the comments below. It can be from Dollar Tree, Dollar General, Five Below, just anything that's in that arena what are you guys loving on and what do i need to go try leave that for me and other than that i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did like it go ahead and give this one a thumbs up it really helps me out and if you enjoy beauty content make sure you are subscribed and ring the bell before you leave other than that go and have a marvelous day whatever you are doing i love you and i will see you guys in my next video Mwah.